We're joined by council members Barry Gredenchik, Paul Vallone, Ben Kalos, Vanessa Gibson, Carlos Menchaca, and uh, our guest, uh, Mark Levine. We're here to vote on um, intro 214B. Um, with that, I'd be happy to invite uh, the sponsors to uh, say a few words if they feel compelled to do so. Uh, <laughs> Council Member Levine. Well, with that encouraging introduction, just have a brief 10-page statement I'd like to read. I, I will be brief and I'll be speaking more tomorrow. I just want to thank this committee and, and you, Chair, for uh, having shepherded this through a long and complicated legislative process. Um, the fact that you founded this committee and have pushed forward the notion that we need to invest more in legal services, um, I consider to be one of the critical developments that made the ultimate passage of this bill possible. Um, and thanks to all the founding committee members here as well who have been so much a part of this. The hearing that we did last fall uh, in this committee, uh, as you recall, Mr. Chair, lasted something around nine hours. Uh, that, that was decisive and and the momentum that we gained towards ultimate passage here. So um, with that, I'll just express my gratitude to you, Mr. Chair, to the members of the committee um, on reaching this milestone and, and uh, encourage everyone to vote aye. I, I also want to give a shout out to my dear colleague, who's also a committee member, the great Vanessa Gibson, without which uh, this would not have been possible. So thank you, Vanessa, for your leadership and your passion. Well said. Council Member Gibson. Thank you very much, Chair Lanceman, and good afternoon. So my speech isn't 10 pages, it's 12 pages. Just joking. But good afternoon to all of my colleagues, and I am truly so grateful to be here. Today is really a great day for many tenants and families in the city of New York, and a really historic day. And after almost four years of advocating, of rallying, of marching together, uh, we will see groundbreaking legislation passed that will really curb the homelessness crisis that we're having and really end the cycle of homelessness and many evictions that are in our city. Um, passing this bill today, Intro 214B, will confirm what we already know, that housing is truly not a luxury, but it is a fundamental right. Thanks to so many of the protections that are provided by this legislation, the right to counsel, we will decrease the number of evictions, stabilize families in their homes, and really keep people and families out of the shelter system. We will reduce the burden on our shelters and maintain long-term housing for thousands of tenants and families. Over the next five years, as this legislation is phased in, we as a city council will work to ensure with the administration that more and more New Yorkers have these legal protections. And I'm so proud to say that also includes residents of the New York City Housing Authority because they too deserve these protections and many of them are struggling themselves to remain in their homes and facing the threats of eviction every single day. More and more New Yorkers will grow to understand and be empowered by their rights as tenants. This bill will make a critical investment in our families, and when we invest in our families, we invest in our children, and when we invest in our children, we invest in the future. I have been so blessed and honored with the opportunity to work on this important legislation alongside our colleague and our friend, Councilmember Mark Levine, whose dedication and determination has been a huge factor in getting us here today. Thank you so much, Mark. I also want to thank our mayor for his leadership and support, our council speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito, for her commitment to fairness and equity for so many tenants. I want to recognize Chair Rory Lansman and the members of this committee, Chair Richie Torres and the members of Public Housing, as well as Chair Jamani Williams and the members of the Housing Committee for their support and all of our colleagues who signed on as sponsors of this bill. I also want to recognize Rob Newman, Matt Gowalb, and Kelly Taylor, the dynamic trio that worked so hard on this legislation. You have no idea. I am so thankful to every tenant advocate, every every rally that we've been to, it would be impossible to list everyone, but certainly um, Council Member Levine and I would not be here if we did not have the incredible support of Andy Shera and the New York Law School, Susana Blankley, Shayla Garcia, Randy Fitzroy, Carmen, and all of the family at Casa Bronx, the entire Right to Council Coalition, Housing Court Answers, Legal Aid Society, Bronx Defenders, the Central Labor Council, DC 37, Urban Justice, Live On, and AARP. 
Um, we are truly making a difference in this city with passage of this bill, and I could not be more proud of today's vote. And I urge all of my colleagues to vote in the affirmative on intro 214B because the collective journey that we have been on has truly been for the betterment of so many residents in this city, so many tenants that deserve a fair opportunity in housing court. I represent housing court in the Bronx, so I know the numbers and I see the faces of families that are facing eviction every single day. So for many of us, this is deeply personal. So I thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Levine. Thank you, Chair Lanceman, and thank you to all of my colleagues. And I look forward to today's passage as well as tomorrow's passage by the full city council. Thank you to all of my colleagues. Thank you, Chair Lanceman. Thank you, Council Member. Um, with that, please call the roll. William Martin, Committee Clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Courts and Legal Services, introduction 214 B. Chair Lanceman. Aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Cohen. I vote aye. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote? Yeah. <laughs> uh, with congratulations Please, to with, with congratulations to Councilmember uh, Levine and Gibson, and on behalf of the Progressive Caucus, I'm proud to vote aye. We uh, made this happen, and congratulations. Menchaca. I vote aye. Valone. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much. And since we've had a full house, there's no need to keep the uh, committee vote open. That is that. <laughs>